privilege to be part of the leader this month. We thank you, Father, because the Bible says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. We thank you, Father, for the privilege to be among those who can praise the Lord. Lord, we worship you this morning. We ask that you take the evidence in this place. Holy Spirit, we ask that you move and have your way. We ask that you talk to us in the new way. We ask that you touch us again. Heal us again. Feel us again. And be glorified. Be exalted in this place. And we say, Lord, we ask that you open every ear to hear. We ask, oh God, that you touch my mouth to speak. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> that is quite cool. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ooh, we're just coming up. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? We're going to shout another one, but before we shout it, I want you to begin to think about His goodness, His mercy, His grace, His power, and all that He's done for you throughout the last year. This is still January, and I told you January is the first fruit. Hallelujah. It's still the month of praise. It's still the month of worship. In fact, today is the last day of a worship. Seven days of worship. Is it true? Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can somebody give a lot of big, big, big hallelujah? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. If, if, if you know, sometimes it is uh, from the, the depth of our thoughts that worship and praise springs forth from. When you look at how many times the Lord has delivered you, even in this new year alone, when you look at the number of times the Lord has fought for you, just in this year alone, this year. It's just how many weeks old. And some people are gone already. Some people are, are done already. The mercy of the Lord has preserved us to today. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ has preserved us to today. Amen. Amen. This morning we're going to be going straight to the Word again. And I pray. And indeed, the word which we change you, the word that is coming Amen. forth will come as reveal the word of God to you. The Bible says indeed that the spirit give it life, but the letter kill it. We pray that the word will not come to you as letter this morning. Amen. But it will come as spirit Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This morning I'm going to be sharing with us a message that I tie to building your life structure on a sure foundation. life structure, amen? amen, on a sure foundation. The Lord made me to understand something that though so many times we are not conscious of it, but we are always building one thing or the other, amen? amen. Building a career, amen? Building a mar your marriage, building your financial status, building the future of your children, amen? Building a new business, amen? We are always about building something. Amen. In fact, we are also building ourselves. Glory to God. The Bible says, build yourself in your most holy faith, pray in the word, in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. So we are always about building one thing or the other. So it is so important for us to come to work at a level of revelation. That will make us not only to just build, but to build to last. The Lord made me to understand something that his desire for his children is not just to build something that will last a year, something that will last a month, something that will last three years, 
four years, five years. But his desire is for his children to build something that will last. Amen. Um, and last from generation to what? Generation. Glory to God. And so, we're going to be looking at some scriptures that has to do with building. And in this particular message, I'm going to be emphasizing on the first aspect of building anything. Amen. And the first aspect is the aspect of foundation. Glory to God. How, how powerful, how strong, how lasting any building will be will be determined by the foundation. How strong, how well laid. Amen? The foundation is. And allow me to understand something that as a matter of fact that a lot of us have started building something. Amen? That we need to go back to revisit, amen, the foundation of that which we have started what building. There's something about the foundation that when the foundation is being laid, amen, and something is wrong with the foundation, there's something called the principle or the law of compounding effect, amen, in in uh, in structural engineering, that when you begin to build and there's a misalignment. In one on, on, on a particular part of the foundation, amen. You are going to see it's going to reflect on the building, on the structure itself that you lay on it. A man said, Even your grandmother will take note of that, amen. An old woman that her eyes is going dim we, we take note and say, Something is wrong with this roof, the roof seems not to be straight. What is wrong with it, amen? And what we need to do is to go back to the what the foundation. There's something about this law or the principle of compounding effect that actually states that if something is wrong with the foundation, it will not only go wrong with the structure, but it will get worse with the structure. Amen. If the, the, the building gets to about less about one feet tall, it will go wrong. Then when it goes to about when it gets to about two feet tall. Amen. When it gets two feet taller, it goes worse. When it gets about six, it gets what? Is there any other, is there any other English word? It goes more worse. Glory <laughs> 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 no, to God. So, just think about that. Amen. So, if something, if we get to a point and just realize that it's getting worse and getting, it's getting bad. Amen. We need to do something. We need to stop a bit. Amen. I say, is there something wrong with the foundation laying? Amen. So we're going to be dealing with that aspect of foundation this morning. I'd like to also tell you, though you can open your Bible to the book of self, Matthew chapter 7, verse 25. You can open to it as I just share with you some things. I got to know through studies that the oldest building in the world was built about about uh, 3600 BC. Amen. Between 3600, between 3000, uh, 